Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. So, Elementor OS has been accepting specific apps in their App Center to try and curate some applications that follow the elementary guidelines. These apps can be submitted through a specific interface for inclusion in the App Center. Recently, Elementor announced that 100 apps were available, which is a huge milestone. So let's learn more about these apps. What makes these apps special? Well, these apps are not special, they are standard Linux applications, but they are using the elementary OS guidelines and, most of the time, the elementary OS specific development tools, style sheets and custom widgets. What really makes this a great achievement is that elementary OS is an indie OS, by which I mean it's not one of the most run distros such as Ubuntu, Fedora, Suzy, Arch or Manjaro for example, but it still has managed to attract enough attention that developers are writing applications specifically catered to their specific design and look and feel and taking time to submit them to the App Center, instead of just packaging them and trying to get them in the distro's repository. Why would they do that? Well, first, submitting an app to the App Center does not preclude you from packaging the app through normal means and distributing it through the standard repositories, flat packs, or snaps on any other distribution. So it's just another way to get it into the hands of users, and all it takes is a bit of time. Then, submitting to the App Center has some nice advantages. First, these apps are showcased in the App Center, on the home page, and at the top of their category. Second, you get to set a selling price and benefit from the humble button Elementor OS has implemented, which means users can set the price to whatever they want, be it zero or a hundred dollars. This means users can try your app and pay you if they like it, or simply support you through the App Center. Since it's an app center, an app store, and Elementor OS has to provide servers and maintenance, they implement a revenue split of 70% for you and 30% for Elementor, which helps them grow and keep developing the OS. It's a pretty standard fee for app stores. So, 100 apps? Yes, 100 apps are already available on Loki. For Juno, developers need to resubmit their application, so the number is a bit lower, but it should grow to about the same size and hopefully even surpass that. But what are these apps? Well, there's something for everyone. Most elementary specific apps are utilities designed to fulfill one role in true Unix fashion. They are smart tools, well designed and very easy to use. Some highlights might be NotesUp, which is a fantastic markdown text editor with support for notebooks and previewing your text, or Eddy, a really simple app to install dev packages, which are not installable by default on elementary OS. But more complex tools are also available, such as Planner, for project management, task lists, and general organization, or Minder, a fantastic mind mapping tool designed with the elementary OS principles in mind. From productivity tools to FTP clients, the App Center is full of great applications to choose from. Obviously, if these elementary apps are not enough, you can still install classic apps through the App Center just like any other distribution. And that's the beauty of this. Not only can you get access to everything other distros have, but you can also get another world of useful, beautiful programs on top of that. So, what's next? Well, Elementary OS is really moving forward on the App Center. They integrated Houston CI recently, which is a way to test all applications submitted through the App Center for regressions and compatibility issues. They are revamping the Humble button to allow users to pay for an app even after they've installed the application, all through the App Center itself. They also have implemented some nice sharing URLs. You can now share an app's URL, and upon opening it, users will be able to download the app from the App Center if they're using Elementary OS, or preview the app listing directly from the browser. So no need to look or search for the app in the store. This also means you can have a nice view of all apps available through the App Center right on your browser. So if you haven't done already, hop onto the website or the App Center and start looking for some apps you could use. I highly encourage you to buy these apps if you enjoy them. Not only does it help reward the developer for its work, but it also helps Elementary OS sustain its growth and develop more features and awesome tools. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye!